Yes, I know. I've been slacking and I know that's a little bit my fault because I've just been a little lazy slash a little sick. So I just wanted to give a little quick update on uh, week five versus the Carolina Panthers. Obviously, I didn't do a game preview on that, but I did want to talk about Caleb Williams and the Bears and how they did against the Panthers. And obviously, most of you guys know by now, whether you've seen other videos or seen on the news, we destroyed the Panthers. And yes, it was pretty obvious that we were going to beat the Panthers. I didn't think it'd be by this much. With a score of 36 to 10 is very impressive, especially when you're talking about a rookie quarterback in his fifth ever NFL game. Caleb Williams, who has had sort of a rocky start and maybe a slower bit of progression than I guess people had hoped. Honestly, Caleb Williams is doing about as well as he really should be as a rookie. Remember, at the end of the day, no matter how good anybody is in college, they still need time to develop into NFL talent. And, you know, Jaden Daniels and CJ Stroud are examples of, you know, learning a little bit quicker than others. But at the same time, they still had their struggles too. And just like with every other rookie quarterback, Caleb Williams had his struggles early in the season. But now this game against the Panthers, and yes, I know it is the Panthers and not a good team at all. Probably, you know, arguably the worst team in football. But nonetheless, in his fifth ever NFL game, had the best game of his career so far with a pretty amazing stat line of 20-29 for a 69% uh, completion percentage. Nice. And then 304 yards passing, two passing touchdowns, zero interceptions, which is honestly the big thing here, even probably more than the touchdowns themselves. And only one sack he took this game too, uh, which was taken, I believe, in the first or second drive uh, of the game. And no, other than that, didn't have a single sack. So good on Caleb Williams. And you can kind of see now why he was drafted first overall. You can see why, you know, he's progressing a little bit more. You can see the arm talent. You can see the deep shot to DJ Moore. And I'm talking about DJ Moore here. Eight targets, five catches for 105 yards and two touchdowns versus the team that traded him away for that number one overall pick. As we know, the Panthers gave up so much for Bryce Young, who didn't even play this game because it was Andy Dalton. Bryce Young has had an, an, an abysmal start. Just call it what it is, an abysmal start to his career. A lot of it's not really his fault, honestly. The Carolina Panthers are just a really badly run, a barely bad team roster-wise and a badly run organization. So I do feel sorry for him. Hopefully he does get a, a chance uh, somewhere else because he's likely not going to be um, on the Panthers much longer. But going back to the Bears here, like I said, DJ Moore going off, his, uh, going off against his former team. Caleb Williams doing good. And DeAndre Swift too, having another solid out outing. Nothing crazy. He was uh, only averaging three and a half carries uh, this game. So he had 21 rushes for 73 yards rushing and a rushing touchdown, but did contribute in, in the passing game as well. Had uh, two catches for 47 yards, uh, almost had a touchdown if he would have taken the screen pass to the distance, but did set up Roshan Johnson, who had two rushing touchdowns this game as well. And our offense is starting to come together now. The run game. Now that the run game is starting to actually show a little bit of life, now that Shane Waldron is actually dialing up some decent plays, now Caleb Williams looks a lot better. And I know Caleb Williams was, you know, touted as, a, touted as a generational prospect. But at the end of the day, a rookie needs all the help he can get. Jaden Daniels, for example. I believe he would not be as good as he is right now if Brian Robinson and Austin Eckler and some of the other running backs in that, you know, running back room weren't doing as good as they are right now. They have, they've got a really efficient run game going for them. And yes, Jaden Daniels is doing his part in being, you know, amazing for a rookie. But that run game, if it's not going, if it's like us, weeks one through three, man, I don't think Jaden Daniels does anywhere near to what he's doing right now. So I'm glad that Caleb Williams is starting to progress a little bit. And our defense obviously was just absolutely shut out. Uh, amazing. And then, you know, other than, the, I guess, the, the second drive where they scored a rushing touchdown with Chuba Hubbard, that was pretty much it. They just forced turnovers and sacks left and right. Our defense proving once again why we are at the very least top 10, man. I honestly think we're top five, but top 10 as of right now, and Andy Dawn had no chance. This game was like not even close at all, and so just wanted to give a little quick update on that. Really happy for Caleb Williams and the rest of the Bears, and I hope this really continues for the rest of the Bears season, man. Obviously, we're not going to face the Carolina Panthers, you know, level of, of bad teams throughout the season, but we are facing the Jacksonville Jaguars this week, which I'll definitely try to get a, a game pre preview out for, for this game. I'll probably have that done on Friday or Saturday. But for Caleb Williams, man, another test for him to go up against a team in London and hopefully he does good. So, you know, like I said, quick update on that. Nothing crazy. Uh, shout out to the Bears 
uh, coaching staff for do- for stepping up, Shane Waldron especially for calling a good game. I know he has been, you know, his head's kind of been on the chopping block for Bears fans, just on, already wanting him out. Yeah, honestly, me included. DeAndre Swift as well. By week three, we just thought he was going to be terrible. That we would just bench him for Khalil Herbert. Who Khalil Herbert, by the way, we haven't even seen anything of, at all of him. So I wonder if we're going to trade him. But shout out to Shane Waldron and Swift, who were pretty much the two hated Bears on the team right now and have really turned it around these past two weeks. And I hope that continues against the Jags. So let me know what you guys think about this game. And if I missed anything, let me know down below. We are down and I'm out.